Today on Noon Break, we're here at O'Hare Airport, along with Johnny Morris, and we have Franz Matthew and Pato Margetic, the stars of the Sting, and soon the Sting players will be boarding an Air Canada flight to Toronto, where Saturday night they'll be playing the Soccer Bowl, the championship game with the New York Cosmos. Johnny, why is this game so important to everyone in Chicago? Well, I think, uh, I think the main reason has to be the fact that the Sting team has done so well, but also the fact that uh, we haven't had a championship here since 1963 when the Bears won it, as you know. And I think everybody's kind of glommed on to this. Here's a team with some new personalities that Chicago's not uh, that familiar with. They're fast becoming familiar with them. And the fact that they can win a championship, even non-soccer fans are excited about this situation and are starting to learn about soccer. And I think even if they don't win the soccer ball, I think they're setting the pace for next year. I think there's going to be a lot more interest in uh, soccer here in Chicago. But these two stars look like they're going to win. They've got that, that win look to them. Franz, how did you feel when you kicked that, uh, that winning goal? You, you said you knew it inside of you that you were going to make it. Uh, yes, I was confident, you know, to shoot that, that uh, to make that uh, shootout. Because I asked the coach so many times, let me go, let me go up the shoot, you know. And then he told me, okay, Franz, go. And then I just, and you did I just it. went and then I did it. Now, the Sting has beat the New York Cosmos twice already. Right. As you go into the game, in your opinion, is that an advantage or a disadvantage? Uh, I, I'm confident, you know, because I know we beat Cosmos twice this year, I think we can make it again, you know, because if we did it twice, we could do it <laughs> Right, if you do it twice, you can do it three times, yeah. right? Yeah. Pato, you feel the same way? Yeah, I think so too. Okay. I think we win again, no problem. Daddy, your turn. Well, I'll tell you, uh, we have two of the fastest soccer players uh, in the league. They both have a lot of speed, and of course they can handle that ball very well, but, you know, I think the Cosmos are an attacking type of team, kind of like the, the Sting is. Gonna, possibly we might have a lot of scoring. Uh, how do you look at it strategically, Pato? Well, I think the Cosmos have an excellent forward line, you know, uh -huh. excellent move, so we have to mark a good Georgia scenario, you know, mm -hmm. another forward line, you know. So I think uh, we we stay in 50 and 50 percent chance, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I think uh, we have we gotta win this game. Is Canalia that good? Well, it's not that good, but it's got a lot of goals, you know. <laughs> Okay, he's he's good, good. <laughs> not that good. Brad, what do you think about him? You know, I think I'm going to play against him, you know, mm -hmm. but I don't mind I like to play against him because he doesn't move a lot, you know. Sometimes he moves, but not a lot, but I think I will immobilize him, immobilize him before for the game. You know? You're going to immobilize him? Yes. How do you think, do that? I don't think he will, he will score Saturday. You don't think he'll I score don't, at all? I don't think so. You have that feeling again yes. inside of you? I don't think he will score Saturday. Specifically, what will you be looking for in the New York Cosmos to, to you know, to guard against? Uh, you know, I think I'm going to play more defense than offense Saturday, you know. It's, a, it's, it's our strong point, you know, to, to, because the customers are excellent for that line, like uh, the first cabanas on, on uh, Finaglia and Bogicevic, uh, of course, he always gives some good balls, good pass to Finaglia to score, you know, but I think I will, I will stay straight, you know, from him and then... What about the, uh, the artificial surface now? The Sting plays pretty well on natural grass now. How about the Cosmos? Have you checked their record on the artificial surface? Well, the Cosmos play all the time in the artificial. Yeah, you know. except when they visit sometimes. Yeah, sometimes they play almost all the time, you know, mm -hmm. in the home. And uh, him play, he, uh, they don't play too many games in grass, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think we don't have any problem because it's last game, you know. And we know how we play in artificial, you know. And I think we don't have no problem. Well, every time I talk to Willie Roy, he says, the artificial surface, he gets upset, yeah. the coach. For me, I think it's, it's the little advantage, you know, Cosmos uh, and us, you know, to play in Astrotech. But I think we are going to forward if we are going to play on Astrotech or Grass. I or see. Well. Franz, Pato, we wish you the best. Everyone will be waiting and cheering and hoping, and we'll be back with our salute to the Sting as Noonbreak continues. Back here at O'Hare Airport with a couple of new guests from the Chicago Sting. As you know, the Sting getting ready to fly off to Canada to go to Toronto to play in the Soccer Bowl against the New York Cosmos. To my right is Arnold Steffenhagen. To my left, Rudy Glenn. And gentlemen, let me ask you, has your life changed in the last couple, say, 48 hours? 
Well, it doesn't really change, but uh, I think uh, <laughs> now you're really aware of uh, that we are going to Toronto and uh, play the, uh, the soccer ball in the final there. Yeah. I think it's a fantastic feeling. It's a, it's a good feeling to have the Chicago, the city, kind of just take this thing in hand and just go root with them all the way. Well, I hope uh, they did it so fantastic uh, uh, during the playoffs. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I just hope there are plenty of fans coming down to Toronto and do the same thing like the day in Chicago. Of course, it's the New York Cosmos. You've had a couple of good games with them. It's going to be a high-scoring game, isn't it? Well, it uh, looks like it because the Cosmos like to play uh, an offensive uh, way, and uh, so uh, we do. And uh, so we can expect a high-scoring game. Rudy, you were saying that uh, in the Cosmos' last game that uh, Georgia was left pretty much to himself out there in front. Right, exactly. I was watching the uh, game on video last night mm -hmm. at uh, my apartment, and I noticed that he was left open quite a bit. And, uh, you know, I didn't think it was that much of an exciting game myself. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it's going to be very, very, uh, it's going to be a different game with us because uh, we're just so offensive, you know, offensive a threat. And uh, they're the same way, so I, I don't see the game going over 90 minutes, you know. I think that uh, we're going to go in there and it's going to be a, a tight score, but it won't go over 90 minutes and there's going to be some goals. Where would you give the edge uh, goalie-wise? Uh, it's going to be tough. It's, you know, it's hard to say right now. I mean, there's, two, hand, there's, huh? there's two excellent goalies, you know, and uh, I, I don't see a better matchup at all, you know, in the league. I think it's a perfect game for the final. And uh, just hope that the best team wins out there tomorrow. Uh, uh, we're playing Saturday. Yeah. Saturday night. And Arnold, I know you're coming off, uh, well, a couple of years ago, you had a real bad knee operation. This is, uh, you got to be happy because, uh, as you know, knee injuries can sometimes uh, put somebody out for good. Well, it uh, gave me a lot of problems uh, after the operation. I was out for uh, for a year, actually. And, uh, and But uh, thanks God, right now, it's just perfect. Uh, it's just having a new uh, knee, you know, so it's pretty good. Too. Has the German connection helped the, uh, the sting, the fact that you have a lot of players from Germany as far as communication, because you have people who speak different languages, mm -hmm. has that been a help, do you think? Well, it's something that, uh, uh, because we are a lot of, we played away in Germany, so we play a similar type of uh, soccer, mm -hmm. so it's not too difficult, actually, to, to uh, get us together, and uh, we know more or less what the other one is doing, and uh, uh, even so we haven't played together mm -hmm. in, in Germany, but, you know, just because of uh, similar type of uh, soccer that helped uh, this thing I think uh, a lot. Now you guys have played soccer all over the world. Why do you think it's taken so long for Chicago to catch on to soccer? Probably because they haven't been introduced to the game as much as they should. I think uh -huh. it's just amazing to me to see how much the, the city's reacting to all this. You know, I, I, the, just at the last game I never thought that uh, we'd be getting 39,000 for the, the last game at home. I thought at the most maybe 30,000. But this, just the reaction after the game, uh, the publicity on the on the TVs, on the radio, and uh, newspapers is just uh, extremely well. It's really done well. Like, and uh, it's just today, you know, we, we come here, it's, it's a different story now, you know, and people are talking soccer, uh, you know, just, just for instance, I'm disconnecting my phone today, and I talk to the operator, and she's telling me about soccer, you know. So, so to send my bills to the Chicago team after I leave, you know, so I knew, and they say, yeah, okay, well, good luck, and all our kids are going to the games, and that's it's a, it's a different lifestyle. Right that's, I think that's probably the biggest indication that soccer is here to stay in Chicago as the Chicago public really picks up on it. We'll be back with Lee Phillip in just a moment. the Chicago Sting today, and with us is one of the stars, Mark Symington, and uh, you're just about ready to take off for Canada, where Saturday night you'll be playing that championship game, and Johnny Morris has been talking to some of the stars here, too, and he's very much involved 
in soccer now? Well, I, I like uh, to talk to Mark because, uh, as you know, he's a local player. He went to New Trier West High School. Unfortunately, New Trier West has been closed down. But, Mark, that must make you kind of sad. Oh, definitely. I think it is, you know, it's a great facility. They just built it, what, 10 years ago. I think that it's unfortunate that they had to do that. But, you know, enrollment's down. There's nothing they can do. You know, Lee, uh, Mark never played competitive soccer until high school. Is that right? Right. And he was a football player before that, and he was supposed to be too small for football, so he decided to take up soccer. Now he's playing for the Sting, and he's going to be in the soccer championship. That's got to be kind of a dream come true. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. I really never thought about playing professional soccer until I got into college. And then, you know, the dream started to uh, come around. Right. And, and what, what keeps you up for this game? Because you've got to get really ready for Saturday night. I don't think you need to be kept up for no. this game. I think, you know, all the excitement keeps you up for the game. I think that, you know, this is possibly a once-in-a-lifetime chance for, for many people. And, you know, you never know what's going to happen in the future of your career. And I think that it's just a matter of you got to make the most of it. And we want to win, and we're going to win. Mark, as you know, uh, soccer has been kind of a, uh, what would you want to call it, maybe a stepchild sport in Chicago. You grew up uh, with football and baseball. Uh, do you see the mushroom developing now? I mean, when you walk around town and things like that, I mean, have you seen it coming, or is it all of a sudden just this one little explosion? Well, I've, I've seen it coming. The indoor really worked out very well for us. I think mm -hmm. that uh, I think that it was kind of a catalyst for this year as far as speeding attendance up, and I think that, uh, you know, it's it's been coming all along. You walk around the streets now, and people recognize you occasionally. You know, people yell out a car, good luck Saturday, you know, something like that. And, it's you know, it's a fantastic feeling to to see the sport going like that. I think one of the keys has to be that they had programs now in high school and junior high for soccer like when I was younger they didn't have right. such a thing. Youth development is unbelievable. There's more kids playing soccer now than I can believe. I mean, it's just fantastic. And it's a fun game because anybody can get out and that's, play it. That's you know, a great but, part about it. Yeah. You don't have to worry about being uh, six foot three or, or whatever. A male or female. Exactly. <laughs> right. uh, what, are, what are the... What are the things that you need most of all? It seems like stamina. Right. Running ability, I think there's no question. And, and ball control are probably the two most important things in soccer. So young people wanting to be another Mark Symington, uh, they better keep running, right? Right. Keep, <laughs> wanting, keep running and keep practicing. Okay. A last word about the game on Saturday. What's your prediction and how do you think you're going to do it? Well, I think it's going to be a tight game. I think it's going to be 3-2 to two Chicago. Is that hey, that's <laughs> right. You don't get too many players who will actually predict a score, but that's good. We'll keep track of that and okay. see if it does come out. Three and two. I think it might be a little bit more high scoring, even though in championship games they tend to be a little bit more conservative because nobody wants to make a mistake. But we have two uh, high potent offenses, and uh, they're going to be some a people charging action. and losing the ball, and there's going to be some quick goals. I think we'll be back with our salute to the sting as noon break continues. Johnny, do you think that this winning streak of the Sting will kind of rub off on other teams in Chicago? Well, it would be nice, Lee, because, uh, as you know, it's been a long time, and I'm kind of glad they're playing their Cosmos. I'm so sick of this Chicago second city syndrome and the fact that we have these losing teams, and I'm glad it's New York because I want Chicago to beat New York, and I think the fans of Chicago just would like to have a winner, and it may rub off, and who knows, just eliminate that second city syndrome with the Sting winning the championship. And then maybe more teams will win championships. Thank you very much, Johnny. We'll be looking for you tomorrow. Good afternoon.